Hello right, guys, this is Matt here again. I'm just updating my uh, YouTube channel. I'm just going to go through, um, and I've got, got to um, make a move soon. i just got to get my, my um, sauna appointment um, up, up at Lincoln Road soon. But I just want to go through this book here, Beric Prince, Powerful Proclamation. Um, basically, I'm just going to be reading, um, I'll just show you the page that I'm going to read from. Just to see, it's just got the... Um, Nothing from the blood and redeemed, let the redeemed say so. So you guys can just can feel 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 free just to um, I'm just gonna read it as it is, and um, um, just just these couple of prayers, and you know you guys can just feel free to um, you know if you guys want to print it out or just um want to want to pause your video at any time you can feel free to do that. I'm just gonna read read the things that the the two prayers as it is. First one is let the redeemed of the say let the redeemed say so. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. My members, the parts of my body, are instruments of righteousness, yield to God for his service and for his glory. The devil has no place in me, no power over me, no unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Jesus. I overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of my testimony, I do not love my life to the death. My body is for the Lord, and the Lord is for my body. And I'm just going to read this one here, it's got nothing by the blood. I urge every believer um, in society, if you're being attacked spiritually in this world, just use the blood of Jesus Christ. You know Satan hates it when believers are using the blood of Jesus Christ because he knows his, he's defeated. Um, you know, he's a loser. Um, he knows that you know, his time is running short because know, he knows that Jesus is going to come soon. I know that I've, I've been spiritually attacked. I just want to say to just um, before I start this other prayer um, from this book here, I just want to you know, know if it, um, if you guys around the world are going through much spiritual um, issues yourself, if you guys have seen a lot of demonic activity, maybe in your workplace or in your own home, or if, you, if you've seen loved ones who've been given uh, psychiatric drugs for um, certain reasons, and and I'm just I'm not saying this that they're all that will be for everybody but if you guys have seen a real demonic evil side to your loved ones medications i just urge you now just to can you can you can use your own youtube channel just to, um to have a voice don't don't keep yourself to yourself um you know there's been times in my life where i've said to the lord lord you might as well take my life now and guess what i'm still here today it just proves to the fact you know that we can fight against demonic spirits we can fight against evil spirits in this life and you know um I'm considering being a I'm considering being a deliverance pastor in our society today. Um, you know, it, it has to be addressed when when you know yourself you've been attacked by evil spirits in your own household. Um, God, you do, even Jesus, you know, said to the said to his Pharisees and to the and to in this day said, a house a, how can Satan how can Satan cast out Satan um, a house divided by itself cannot stand and I think we're living in this very divided generation over and I think um, the enemy can use mental health for his, for his advantage um, you know when, when prop, you know when medications aren't um, being properly talked about you know in your own household um, and I think Satan can actually use privacy laws to go against uh, what you what um, what uh, your family's uh, issues can be told or said I, I think that um, enemy can use privacy laws to destroy, to destroy um, people's lives. You know, when trying to keep things silent uh, between yourself and, and the doctors. You know, and oh, I think it's it's just, it's just I think it's just I, I'm going to say it pretty bluntly on my channel anyway. I think it's just full of rubbish um, privacy laws and not not judging. You know what you guys are going through in your own country might be going through the same issues. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that you you know don't be afraid to you know be on go on social media and actually have your voice uh been been uh talk to talk, talk talk about these issues um you know always have, you know always keeping the faith you know always uh, stand strong have a, have a voice to what you're going through in your own society you know, you know nobody should have to suffer any any issues of any anything alone um. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna carry on with this nothing but nothing 
nothing but the blood uh, press, and this is this is just from the Steric Prince book here. Um, I'm just going to read it as it is. We overcome Satan when we testify personally to what the Word of God says. The blood of Jesus does for us. Through the blood of Jesus, we are redeemed out of the hand of the devil. Through the blood of Jesus, all my sins are forgiven. Through the blood of Jesus, I'm continually being cleansed from all sin. Through the blood of Jesus, I'm justified, made righteous, just as if I never sinned. Through the blood of Jesus, I'm just, uh, sanctified, made holy, set apart to God. Through the blood of Jesus, I'm, I have boldness to enter into the presence of God. The blood of Jesus cries out continually to God on, in heaven on my behalf. So I was just, I was just, that was just this is just a quick video, guys, um, about, because I've got places to go to soon. But, you know, um, I would just encourage all you guys um, in this day and age, you know, I think, think the enemy's trying to throw all the punches in this world, and he's trying to destroy nations, he's trying to destroy families, life, he's trying to destroy everything, you know, anything he can possibly. Um, you know, you know, can actually do that. You know, do that more often. If you, if you, a few guys are under, a few guys have been attacked, um, in your own churches and your own families. Just do that. You know, to tell the enemy to get off. You know, I think using this to get to get rid of any health conditions or any diseases like that. This thing can be quite powerful to to get rid of um, whatever your body's been attacked. If if it's say something like nicotine or cancer whatever you guys are going through um you know you guys can actually tell that tell that cancer or disease to to leave um yes yeah, so i just like i want to encourage all you guys in, in this in this world today um especially you know everyone everyone worldwide is going through many um issues um you know you see the conflicts that are happening in israel hamas um, Afghanistan takeover and um, the Taliban takeover in Afghanistan. You see the Russian Ukraine conflict um, that, that, that's still happening. Um, so you see, like all, all, all of these things, all these things today are coming to pass, coming to pass in, this, in God's word today. Um, and we, we, we have to really wake up about what is happening. Um, I'm sorry to say that, believers, but um, we have to, we, we, we can't. I can understand, you know, we are supposed to look at our own logs in our own life, not, not to judge others, but in saying that, we have to actually, we, ha we do have to wake up about what's happening, you know, in our, in, in our society, um, what's happening in the way of um, what's been taught in our education systems. I'm not, I don't know what, um, sorry guys, I'm just tucking in, I'm just... Uh, don't know what you guys are facing through in, in, in your nation or in your country, but um, in our country, we've been, you know, people, especially if the LGTP group, um, you know, uh, are teaching kids, oh, you can be this gender, that gender, you can be this sex, that sex. Um, it's all this garbage, you know. Um, you know, I, I, um, if you guys are interested, um just put excuse me you go go onto youtube search and type in pastor um i can't pronounce the surname just type type in pastor um speaks up against um a children's book and it's called um it's perfectly normal and it shows it shows a it's a it's a it's a supposedly children's book but it shows it shows the um it shows um you know parents having sex from a and this is this is a children's book called it's perfectly it's perfectly normal and it is it is a a book that um you parents need to be aware, more aware of um you know showing showing sex at a what at a at an early age i think it's just totally wrong um i mean sort of between intermediate high school you get your your puberty talks i mean this is this is telling you what i'm what i learned you know and then intermediate intermediate level you get your um puberty talks done and then your high school level you get your you know what man's parts and woman's parts and between your legs are um but you know from a child's from a child's level you know from a say from a daycare to primary school they have no they have no no have no functionality they don't know what's what what's um 
you know, I think it's too early for a child's brain to actually understand that kind of um, those kind of concepts. Um, you know, you know, I think I think it's just totally wrong about what's 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 happening in, in our society for this garbage that's being portrayed in, in our society today, and it's just it's just so so it's so false. It's wrong. Um, I'll probably I've probably repeated this in so many other videos, but you know I just I sort of re reinforce it um, that you know we shouldn't you know believers we need to stand up for for what's what's gone wrong in our society. Look, we're all gonna we all, I'll say I'll say this over and over in my videos. You know we're all gonna get persecuted whether whether we go out to the streets and talk talk about some talk about proper sense about what's going on or or it's gonna you know it's either it's either gonna come it's either gonna come to to us as the believers either either um outside the streets or or the or the street people are gonna come into the church you know it's all gonna i'm gonna say sorry it is gonna cost cost every christian every 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 part of their lives and i'm sorry to say that um why because it's been foretold in god's word that we know we are going to be persecuted just you know if it's happening if it's happening um if it's it's if it's more happening around the world why do we why would anyone in any other nation um not be less persecuted for it? i'm not and i'm not saying we may not get physically um killed for our faith but we'll probably be we're going to be attacked um one way or another um out on the streets um because because of many people's viewpoints um you know i'm not judging i'm not here to judge any person i'm not here to judge any person who has different real views in what i do but um you know i just think in this day and age where a lot of what well, a lot of um ideals are being you know conflicted with one another um you know uh, the, the church with the church we're going to be attacked one way or another um whether that be sooner or later i don't know um because you know in this, this day and age you know everything's everything in god's word is you know is coming more fulfilled in our time um and, and everything's you're, you're seeing as, as becoming a fulfillment of prophecy um whether whether the church likes it or not um it's it's becoming it's becoming you're seeing you're seeing um you know the the, the performance of like prophets in in the old testament like isaiah Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, those kind of um, major prophets, you know, who who had that, you know, they had problems in their own day, you know, facing Israel, and you know, they they turned away from God and, and following pagan, their pagan, um, pagan, following pagan nations and idols in their day, but yet God continually wanted to raise up prophets and um, servants in, in, in the Old Testament to continue to remind Israel of God's faithfulness to God's love and God's, God's covenant between him and Israel. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to um, just want, wanted to say to you guys, you know, whether, whether that be today, whether that be tomorrow, you know, we, we have to say something. Um, it's no longer viable just for the church just to be the church and just go to church once a week. Um, you know, we do we do have the obligation to you know preach the gospel to the lost, um, to the confused. Um, you know, God tells us in Matthew twenty eight verse nine twenty, therefore go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and I'll be a few to the end of all age. And God made that promise. Um, whether that be today or tomorrow, you know, we have to speak out and make a voice for for um for this generation um but yeah but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave that to, to for you guys now i'll probably make another one soon um and especially in this time and age we were facing much uh issues and um i might be considering going on the the local um tv network and on channel one make some make some noise about what's actually happening because you know i think this this whole garbage about climate change is not just a climate change issue i think there are there the, the, this i believe this word is becoming more more of a fulfillment in, in in our in our in our time today and it's undeniable proof that we're living in these i believe that we're living close closer towards the coming of jesus christ and we just have to continue to um 
take heed to put on armor of god um to put the blood you know pray out loud whenever you guys have an opportunity even even you guys that believers at work just if you get get a spare couple of minutes to say oh, i'll put the blood of jesus christ you know and if people uh, look at you differently or oh, whilst let that be what it is <laughs> all right guys i think i've over stretched my time all right um